Is that it? You think it's good? That's the kind of job Gabby does. No, because the snow's like melty and you have yeah. to All right, we're headed out. I'm like, Gabby, we have to go. Sam messaged me this morning while I was half asleep and said, it's like snowing so bad. It's supposed to stop at noon. You can't go for riding because I'm a chicken of driving in the in the snow. And um, so I said, Fiona, could we drive with you? And she's like, yeah, you can. And then um, it led up and the roads are not bad, she said. So we decided, oh, get my seatbelt on. We decided. at 10. We decided, okay, yeah, we're gonna do it. Okay, so guys, we are gonna go, and this time we bought, we brought food, you guys, we brought snacks. Horse treats. So let's go, let's go. Yes. And um, see our horses. You know what, I feel it, I feel it today. Got, Sophie, what do I feel? Stella's going to come. We think Stella's gonna come today. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but we think that she is. Stop eating all the berries. <laughs> Give me berries. one ever today. <laughs> I know, mine too. You're calling. I'm falling, don't know what it is you do to me, yeah, where you go, I follow, let's go out and dance the night away, going like one, two, three, four, I can't do this, yes you can, pure ice, this should not, I don't want her. Stella's missing. She's missing, you guys. Okay. All right, go, go, run. We gotta get in there fast. Our lesson's about to start. And we're not even tacked up. Oh. Go fast. Our mare is in there. Our mare is in there where it's warm. She's got her protector in front. She's smart. She belongs to us, you guys. That's what our. That's where I would be. Food or warm? I would always choose warm. Five, six, seven, eight. Dance the night away. I am ready for that heartbreak. That's usually how it goes. I have done a billion mistakes before. come to you? Yeah. Oh, good job. All right, so we're swapping ponies. Um, Gabby, Sophie's having a lesson on Storm today, and Gabby's gonna ride Stella. He was moving out of the way. You're okay. Bitch. Rain's Itchy eyes. Kind of makes you want to get back on your own horse, huh? Sophie's <laughs> having a panic attack. Okay. Sophie, you're okay. You're okay. Come on. It's hard to get past that fear. So, Gabby, you need to put some stuff on his tail again. He's really wrecking it. I'm right behind you here, Soph. Body's good. Let's see your reins a little bit. Remember, Come don't on, be scared. Be, fake it till it's real. Be brave for him. You're okay. Give that kiss now. I just wanna hold you close to me. So we have um, another rider riding Stella. It's crazy noisy in here. Like the wind is blowing. You guys saw when we were outside. So, uh, and you guys should know that it's not just the horse thing. Like it's that Sophie is going through a stage where she's scared right now. Last night was the very first night ever that Sophie climbed in my bed. In nine years, she's never slept in my bed because she does not like to. She likes to sleep on her own like I was like that. And last night, she heard noises in her room and climbed in bed with me. It's not, she's growing and she's changing and she's entering a fear stage where she's more aware about what's going on around her so she doesn't just trust blindly anymore and it's developmental and yeah, horses make that harder. She just needs time. If you guys saw, she's brave in the paddock now. She never has any issues. She's, she just needs time. Yep, just a circle around Fiona and then it's you're not very far from her. 
There you go. Push your heels down and feet forward. There you go. A little looser on your reins. Oh, he says, I thank you. I can relax. Good. Make the circle a hair bigger. Just you and him and me. That's it. Nothing else. This is why you hate winter? No, no, last yesterday you told me you hated winter because it was cold. We had way more noise at the old barn. Yeah. Sophie, this is going to make you a really, really strong rider because you're going to get to see. Even if you spend all winter. So we're getting too close to us. Pull him out. Make the circle bigger, please. Even if he's just trying oh, to come to us and stop. Even if we spend all winter desensitizing Sophie. Yep. Then it's still worth it. She does know how to leg yield. She just, you need a lot of leg. That's it. Now keep, see how far you are away from me right now? You're good. He didn't Look, he didn't even care. Stay that far away from me all the way around. And you know who else didn't care? Stella. Stella. Stay far away. You're getting too close. They just need time to get used to it. So if they, they're starting, remember, it's the beginning of winter. So inside leg, outside rain, pull her up. She's still walking. Pardon? He's doing it. No, he's not. <laughs> so who cares? He's doing anything. Look. Look at, he doesn't even care. It's still being silly. Oh, he's like, that's a lot of work. What are you doing? We're going to learn how to walk with purpose. We're going to learn how to be confident on our horse. <laughs> Come on, get going, Walking. Missy. You're like two steps away from me. Your mom and I can grab you in 30 seconds. Three yeah, seconds. You won't even hit the ground. And really, your horse is just going to. Look at He's anyway. like, wow, this is so relaxing. <laughs> Does he look bothered? No. If he looks at stuff, squeeze, his, squeeze your reins a little. Get going. That's right. He wants to, he needs you to loosen the reins a little bit. He's wondering why you're pulling his chin in. You're good. Keep, keep going. On. Remember, keep him busy. Remember what I said, the noises are bugging you, not him. So let them bug you, that's fine. But let him walk. It's okay. That's why we're all here. We're not going to let anything happen to you. Keep walking. A little further away from us. He needs to walk a bigger circle for his legs. Go girl Stella. Go girl Stella. Keep going. Don't look at Stella. Look where you want to go. Squeeze your heels on. Say, come on. He's doing this. He's like. Look, Stella's happy now. The weather outside is frightful. <laughs> that expression came from horses. The wind is so powerful like it almost made me fall down and i'm heavy <laughs> yeah so our horses are just really spooked like it's just a really bad day for riding in hindsight show sophia that storm's good just yeah Stella. yeah someone told me this ain't love there's no way you get into my heart someone told me gotta move on before you fall apart And there's no reason to be numb But I can even fall asleep until the dark If there's no love and there's no lust Whatever you got, I'm about to give it up You and I are going to walk a circle and then you can get off Okay, so Go back the up there What she's done, we can walk over towards the block I'm just forgetting him, I'm not it off don't you know 
outside leg on in your corners. Push his hips to the inside a little bit when you get close to the corners and hopefully he'll keep it. He just isn't active enough. He's a little lazy. So. Girl's all tucked in in her field. Sophia? Yeah. Did you give her an apple? When mm -hmm. you're cooling him out. At the field? No. Oh. Boy. When you're cooling him out tomorrow, if you cool him out tomorrow, which you are, um, and he like puts his head up and starts speeding up, circle him. Kick him and circle him. So, we Boy, then he's like, oh, have a plan. Sophie was like legit almost having a panic attack down. when just he's from so getting cool. on him. The weather in Canada literally is so insane, so insane. Like most horses never ever have to endure this kind of noise situation. Stella spooked with a different rider on her because a blast of snow came right at that back wall and blew right up and half of it, some of it came in, in the door there. So um, yeah, it's spooky. And she's not been inside an arena for at least two years. She just sat in a field. So definitely Sophie's getting a new horse. Like that just has to happen. But we are keeping Stella. Mom will get Stella. But we're gonna work with Stella. We're just gonna keep working with her, and we're just gonna take her time and love her and support her and just like we're gonna love and support I Sophie. I only Do you want to quit horseback riding? No. Do you want to just keep going and go take baby steps? Yeah. Till you feel good. But I don't want to ride in winter because that's like the worst. She doesn't want to quit, but she does not want to ride in winter. But we have to ride in winter because otherwise, our... like the worst. But if you, if we were at the other barn right now, it would be way louder. Yeah, but listen to this: if you don't ride your horse in winter, by the time you ride again in spring, your horse will be crazy, and it'll be like winter in spring. So we 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 have a plan. No, Mom would ride. We but we planned it all out. I'm gonna share you guys share with you guys the plan. You saw how Fiona took Sophie baby steps. To get her past her fear at the beginning when she was riding Storm, going in slow circles right around her. She doesn't want to quit. We're gonna have to get her a new horse. Sam, we gotta get her get a new horse. Just because she needs something that she can yeah, ride, I can that she feels comfortable Sarah, on. Like today she was cantering. And we're just gonna pray we don't get another horse that's overly spooky because Storm is just handling this and bad I'm, weather like a trooper. Like the dude is like, the dude's like, should I spook? And I was like, no. Like, he's amazing. He is amazing. The dude's like, don't. The dude's like, what's that noise? What's that noise? What so I'm we're like. coming back tomorrow. We're going to do it all over again tomorrow. So this is what I love, though, is having the support of our instructor. Like, we'll have had her here with us three days this week. And she takes the time. And she helps us. She builds a plan with us. And we work through it. If you know when your horse is going to spook, like how they put their head frame or circle a tight circle walk we have we would die at the old barn oh, it's so cool <laughs> like, guys text and storm play um text by storm's butt like his blanket so now in storm's non-rippable blanket 
There's a huge rip in it, and uh, Tex pulled off one of Storm's leg straps. Two like, blankets thing, down in a week, so. The thing connected to the leg Yeah, straps. I'm gonna either have to figure out a way to sew them, because it's really thick, or I'm gonna have to do that, because, I mean, this is his good winter blanket that we um, just had repaired, and yeah, so. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get some spray to spray Storm's blankets with, so that Tex doesn't think that they taste yummy. <laughs> anyway, we're headed home. An eventful day, always an eventful day at the barn. But good news is that the saddle fitter is coming tomorrow, and I'm so excited to make that video. Are you excited, I'm, Gabby? Kind of, kind of. I want a saddle that I want. Yeah, she's like, okay, I'm excited, but not if everybody pressures me to get a saddle that I don't want. So hopefully, we can find a compromise or a saddle that she loves that works for us. Right? And that Storm loves, because he will tell me. Yeah. If he wants that saddle. This is he, mine. Will, he will look at the saddle and say, this one's it. This one's it. <laughs> yeah, Storm is going to no, decide. that's what he did with race car driver's saddle. Yeah. He loves his saddle. So. Yeah, it's all about Storm. All right, you guys. So let's go home. Storm. You ready? Yeah. My face is burning. Yeah, it's so cold, you guys. So burning. cold. Santa's here. You guys want to see Santa? No. What? You don't want to see Santa this year? Why don't you want to see Santa? Because it gets Only annoying. if we could do it with our pets. It gets annoying. Santa's Only if we can do it with our pets. We're at the mall shopping uh, with Nick. He's Christmas shopping for his Jesse. So Black Friday. Black Friday is becoming a big thing in Canada. 70% off jewelry. Let's say I miss you when I'm tipsy. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.